the streams kicked in. Nice. Hi everyone. This is Chicho. Today is July 26, 2019. And we're doing a live stream, open discussion on current events, news, politics, economics, uh, news of any type, really. Okay. And we've done a few of these now. It's nice to see, nice to be able to say we've done a few of these now. And um, it's basically, uh, that's what the stream is about. And we just usually wait a few minutes uh, until people start rolling in. If you're here, you want to talk about anything regarding current events, uh, even comic books. We're going to do a comic book live stream tomorrow, but even comic books, uh, food, whatever. Uh, we can talk about it, but usually the conversation goes towards uh, politics and economics. Okay. As far as my system setup, beverages, got our tea. Not as dark right now because this is like, I don't know, my <laughs> third cup today, right? Over day, I continue to drink tea, but it gets weaker and weaker, right? I rarely add more tea leaves to the to the pot, right? Because I don't want to be drinking strong tea all the time. So, Ruah, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. I got matcha going. X, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. A strong, sweet matcha. Got some freshly washed, uh, unsprayed blueberries, local blueberries. Right? They're good, chunky. The little ones are actually better. I like little ones better, the frozen version of that anyway. Jay Morris, how are you doing? The little blueberries, they have more of the more nutrients. Riot, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. This is our plum jam that we made in the last stream. Okay. Now it's not as solid as it could be. Okay. Uh, but once we go through the milling process, then it become it will become more solid. Um, we're not going to mill all of it. I'm not going to mill all of it. We're going to mill enough to be able to make pastries. Okay. So I'm eating it like this with yogurt on bread, like jam. Great lasagna. How are you doing today? Super naz. Welcome, welcome. Twitching Jason. Afternoon, Chicho. Glad to have caught another stream. Nice to have you. Nice to have you here, man. Martin, good evening all. Martin from the UK. Salutations. And this is like a chunk of plum that didn't. And there's seeds in there. I'm not gonna tilt it over too much. I don't want it spilling over the on the keyboards. But some of these are left. Very tart. <laughs> so good. And this is what the seeds are like, right? And it just comes off. You don't have to do any work, right? So the milling for this will be super easy. very delicious if you love tart it's the way to go a truce how are you doing hey chicho and everyone in chat hope all is well doing well man doing well thank you very much hope everybody is doing well here okay uh, just to let you guys know the odds are there's going to be a video uh being loaded on today okay hopefully the stream's still going my thingamajiggy is sort of frozen. The video feed where I make sure that the stream is going. So I'm just reloading just to make sure. It says it's going. That, that, that. Nah, it looks like it's going. It might have frozen just a bit. I wasn't able to immediately join when I saw you go live for the plum jam oh plum jam stream 
little did I know it would go for five hours. Crazy. Such a fascinating process. Yeah. And we're going to be, we're going to have jam, plum jam for minimum a couple of years, right? More, most likely three years, right? So you do one year's worth of work, a couple of days, and you have supply of you picked uh, as organic as it can be, I guess. It's not certified organic, but you picked it up from, uh, from nature. Uh, using organic ingredients and you put the time in you know how you cooked it your body recognizes the food it's just it's phenomenal made several batches of liqueurs i think cherry and lemon are the best especially lemon for a nightcap before bed yeah riot i love the lemon and the lemon is phenomenal after uh, a meal right if you need to you know especially heavy meals if you need something to cut the strength of the meal the lemon liqueur is phenomenal and especially if your tummy is not on the up and up the lemon liqueur is uh, is medicine that's the way i treat it okay big chichorones in the building <laughs> federal reserve info <laughs> awesome audit the fed man what the hell uh uk officially has a clown as leader yeah yeah you had a witch and then a clown I think you might be going through the fairy tale land and picking the worst things from fairyland and putting in past the leaders, right? Crazy, crazy. This is how ridiculous UK politics is. You take UK foreign policy, domestic policy, in one simple example, this is the situation the UK is in. They go into international waters and seize an oil tanker because they say the oil coming from a certain country to another country is not allowed according to their belief okay they seized an oil tanker illegally from international waters and basically went head first into possibly one of the greatest conflicts in the last century it could be one of the greatest conflicts in the last century and i'm not over over stating this right uk is in a deep deep uh, political turmoil dante how are you doing and you're hosting it dante awesome awesome what up everyone index is back in the house index hope uh you didn't get too shattered going to washington brother i think you were there nicholas nicholas how's life hey chicho hey chat we'll join you guys soon just finishing a workout and i'm sweating mass at the mess at the moment nice nice uh need to freshen up awesome man workouts good awesome nicholas really fantastic man greetings and blessings dr p dante uh, Boris doing his best Donald Trump impression. Why do you think uh, uh, they look uh, look like that? Yeah, and he did get a haircut, I think, just because of that. The Great Hack, a new documentary on Netflix, pretty interesting. Oh, really? I haven't seen that one. I don't think I have anyway. I, it doesn't ring a bell. The Great Hack. They said it was uh, not anchored near Gibraltar. Gibraltar. Was that a lie? It was. I'm pretty sure it was a lie. I think the. It, it, it doesn't it was in international waters uh, anyway the, the the whole reason they seized it they said the they have sanctions sanctions against syria right so the reason they seized it is because they have sanctions against syria now remember syria is a place that the uk saudi arabia united states and israel and turkey have been waging a massive war on for the last six years so this is like once you put it into context they're basically trying to choke the population of Syria into submission right whatever wherever you want to categorize that if you think that is a legitimate war tactic to wage on people that's your prerogative I, I don't know where it lays i'm pretty sure i know where it lays on the international legality level it's a war crime however 
we'll leave that to people to decide, right? They did it on the orders of Bolton and the neoconservatives from the United States, the banking, you know, huge part of the banking institutions. They dove headfirst into possible global catastrophe, right? I don't think no one's stupid enough to start a war. It is war right now, it's economic warfare and technological warfare, right? What's taking place? There's viruses being sent. There's tanker wars going on. There's pipelines war going on, right? So there's resource wars taking place, economic war taking place, technological war taking place, and proxy wars taking place. Like, I'm not sure how you categorize, categorize this, but I categorized this a few years ago as World War Three. Sorry, I went heavy right away after Plum Jam. That's what Plum Jam does, tart. Will capitalism die in our lifetime? Uh, it, it's morphing right now. We'll find out where it's going to morph into. I don't know if uh, capitalism is, uh, it, it's like, it, it, you have to define the version of capitalism. Like the United States is not just straight up capitalism. Everybody is equal. It's not, it's crony capitalism. Is corporate capitalism. So what type of capitalism right are we referring to? I think capitalism on a local trade level is going to kick up. Barter system. Staying locally. Doing deals anonymously with anonymity, right? Within your community. That is still... I'm not sure what the official... We have to read the definitions. All these words have... There's the traps in the definition of a lot of these terms that everybody uses, right? So I think uh, localized economies are going to pick up while corporate and multinationals will start devouring each other, which they are right now, consume each other, right? Where is it going to go? Will they consume so much? Because every time there's mergers and acquisitions within large multinational corporations, uh, there are layoffs. There's also more expenses that get put on and growth becomes slower. So huge corporations have a, in general, have a slower growth, right? That's one of the reasons why people chase growth. Investors chase growth because once you have, you're, you're putting your money somewhere where there's a lot of growth, if there is fluctuations in the market in general, the growth rate for this relative to this, if this is you're gonna drop 20%, and this is going to drop 20% or whatever that was, right? This, if their costs are this much, they're still profitable. If these guys, their costs are this much and these guys drop, they're barely breaking even, right? There's a lot of, lot of play. I'm in Scotland and I'm ashamed of what's going on in the UK just now, especially within, within politics. Yeah, I'm fucking done with DC. You have no idea. Index. <laughs> One of the greatest cesspools in the world is Washington, D.C. Really. My mom is Scottish. Uh, well, no, you know this. You lived there. <laughs> you went there for what a, many things vile uh, nest in D.C. from what we've seen anyway. My mom is Scottish. Maybe Scotland will take me <laughs> Martin. The Great Hack. The Cambridge Analytica scandal is examined through the roles of several affected persons. Oh, that's what it is. The Cambridge Analytica. Dr. P, if you're on Discord, please post this somewhere on our Discord so I'll remember to go and check it out. Dante, unlikely capitalism will, will die. Yeah, it's going to morph. It is morphing. Where are my mighty Scottish rebels? Hello, Freedom Department. As long as nobody tells Trump to go back where he came from, from, from his mother's, from here, then I'm all for, for, the, for the mere uh, super Naz, Where are you from? Are you from the UK? You don't want Trump there, or UK basically, it's just US foreign policy somewhere else probably. Thanks. I'm bagging now. Nice. Brexit is a mess. So they're 
enacting number one rule of democratic problem solving unite behind a manufactured foreign enemy yes 100 percent jim morris the other the other the other backing backing <laughs> backing <laughs> martin <laughs> he's backing he's backing now to go to scotland i think so and that's what it refers to can you argue that there has always been economical wars going on um there's economic tiffs that have been going on but this is full-blown warfare right it's the equivalent of saying there's skirmishes across the border to full-blown missile launches and incursions right there's a huge difference between right? the most valued asset on the planet currently data suppress the value of oil yeah data finally caught a live stream noah how are you doing welcome to your first live stream i'm assuming we are overdue a war sorry to say that though um martin i th to serve now I, I don't know we've been in constant warfare for the last 20 years if not longer like really right now if you think about it from morocco this was more true about three years ago four years ago five years ago than right now to a certain degree because there's certain quiet spots but basically right now we're in complete warfare uh, with fluctuations from the west coast of africa from morocco all the way all the way across to pakistan right and afghanistan you go down on the african continent you central there's war everywhere right there is political economic uh, coups and military movements in south america central america is quiet uh, asia is heating up to a certain degree even though we're seeing some peace there's certain types of seeds that have been planted that are taking fruit right now uh, europe we saw a war in Europe in the 1990s with the uh, bombing of Yugoslavia, right? There's stuff brewing in Cyprus. There's stuff brewing be between Greece and the north, right? Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, so we've been in constant warfare. I don't know how hot it's going to get. It is uh, it is pretty hot right now. There's tens of millions of people migrating. By most accounts, there's a few million people that died. Yeah, me too. I love his math. <laughs> yeah, I guess calling it capitalism is too broad. Just trying to understand where our global economy is going. Right? We're going through some major, huge shifts. Gigantic, huge, huge. From all accounts, everything that I've read, there's no other moment in history that things have been moving this fast, which is part of the quickening where people say things are moving faster and faster. By the way, again, I forgot, I left the chat way up top. So I'm gonna bring the chat down. The chat was in the position of uh, <laughs> of the cooking live stream. Uh, same, I watch all his upload of streams, but I never go on a live one before. Cool, glad, glad to have you here, Noah. It's sort of a different beast when you watch live. I never really appreciated that until I started doing live. And then I realized the dynamics, right? Welcome, brothers, brother. We'll do posts on Discord. Awesome, Dr. P. How about that documentary? Yeah, I worked at the Library of Congress, which means I'm right next to the Supreme Court. The lawyers there disgust me. Wow. Some serious, rude individuals, man. Yeah. You, you're going to be taking showers twice a day for a couple of months. <laughs> Cesspool. I live in the D.C. area. <laughs> if you remove the politics and politicians, the people here are generally really great. I'd say much nicer than a city like New York City. Cool. Twitching Jason, by the way, when I say Washington, D.C., uh, I'm not referring to the uh, outskirts. I should clarify my words, but don't take offense to anything I say for sure. Uh, so I don't mean it by ill will. When I mentioned Washington, you see, I'm talking about the core 
core political center of basically the politicians and the and the lobbyists and the lawyers and all the industry that has invested so much in that centralized institutions to govern so much of this planet affect so much of this planet god missed a few few chats so i'm gonna try to catch up uh, i'm from the southern sky no, no, think that, that, that. what's your opinion on the issue between kosovo and Ser serbia where serbia complains that kosovo has put uh put a hundred percent import tax on serbian products while while they decline to recognize the independence of kosovo and try to block their um, accession to international organizations uh Jilly, i'll give you my opinion uh, i'm not i haven't looked into the intricate uh details all the stuff i know some of the things that took place but i haven't like looked focused in on that zone specifically but that is part of a grander picture of the war that's going on and the boundaries that are trying to be be drawn right now let me get caught up with chat and remind me again i'll mention a little bit more uh, regarding that uh if possible but uh, basically it's part of a grander picture uh what's going on here i might as well address it now what's going on in my opinion what's going on in all these proxies right proxy locations around the globe between Serbia, Kosovo and all this jazz. All that stuff is going on as part of a grander design of the powers, two main powers, and you got Asia going on as well with China. But right now mainly you could you could say it's Russia and the West, Europe and the United States. A lot of it being driven from the United States, from the neocon, from the neoconservatives from the United States everywhere right now where they could flare up conflict they're flaring up conflict and the way they're flaring up these conflicts is seeds that they have planted years ago or decades ago because as human beings they tell us we should have a five-year plan right you should you should have a lifetime plan 20-year plan 10-year plan and so on and so forth you should be able to We've mentioned this before do a calculus extrapolate your vision of where you can be or where you want to be or where you don't want to be for an extended period of time just imagine we do this as human beings how far do you think corporations and governments look down a while right one of the examples is the invasion of panama in the late 1990s early 19 uh late 1980s early 1990s they they said they went after noriega because he was a drug dealer they didn't go after Noriega because he was a drug dealer, because he was CIA's drug dealer. They went after Noriega because in 1999, I might have my dates wrong a little bit, because in 1999, the Panama Canal was supposed to be handed over to the Panamanian people. And there's absolutely no way that the United States would have allowed the Panama Canal to be handed over to the Panamanians. So they went in there and still retained control over the Panama Canal, which is also one of the reasons that China a few years ago announced that they're going to be building they're proposing and investing money in into building a canal i don't know if it's through panama or whatnot but building a canal in central america that will be parallel basically to get ships from one side to the other side so it's a grand scheme the question is where do you lie in that grand scheme whose interests are being served any place that there's going to be a flare-up where the interests of that flare-up are outside parties the most of the benefits are going to be reaped by the outside parties do not participate in stay localized ask ask yourself what is what is in the best interest of the people living here okay everybody living here not this group of people living here and you want the other group of people out right so don't take sides within your region geographic region right what everybody has to ask themselves is what is in the best interest of the people living here inclusive of everybody living here right there is no other in your region where you live okay everybody you're all equal right what's in the best interest of the people living there is it going to be dialogue or is it going to be uh, war 
at least for a recorded history, we've tended to name ages after the primary weapon used, Stone Age, Bronze Age, Iron Age, and as recent as the Atomic Age. Well, it's no mistake that this is the Information Age. Yeah, so very well put. Chicho, is there a way you can increase the volume? I'm talking very gently right now. I'm chill. I've been editing. I've been editing since like, I was editing late last night and uh, I started early this morning. <laughs> so I'm in my chill mode. I'm drinking, and this is Chicho chill mode, talking politics. I'm drinking matcha strong is that okay i hope that's okay here let me bring this over apologies if the, this is going to be scraping sound on the mic oops what would your advice be for a fresh out of college graduate is it worth starting to get into the stock market game or should i just learn to code in my spare time and avoid playing the easy money uh routes like crypto uh forex and stuff uh morris let me see if there's anything else Morris has put exactly that was my point uh, okay ba, 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 Morris so I'm gonna I'm not gonna try to catch up with Chad I'm just gonna talk sorry if I'm, I'll answer this maybe I'll skim down a little bit um, it really depends now uh, spare time like the stock market get into the stock market game which way are you gonna get into it up down do you really want to get into that game? Because that is that is a game that is all consuming, right? Same with the crypto or Forex and stuff like this. Uh, it really depends, Morris. Like first order of business for you, going for easy money is okay, right? But it shouldn't be your main focus and it shouldn't be 100% of what you do. Um, a long time ago, someone told me this and I remember it. Uh, easy come, easy go in gambling. I learned a lot through gambling, right? Easy come, easy go. Okay, fast money come in, fast money goes out, right? The money that sticks with you, the investments that you make that stick with you for an extended period of time, right? Unless you're going to put your money somewhere and just not look at it, cross your fingers, hope the money is going to be there, the system is going to be there, whatever you're invested in, and inflation is going to not reduce your investments down to zero, then put your money in somewhere and walk away for 50 years or 40 years maybe you're still alive 30 years maybe you're still alive 20 years maybe you're still alive and then come and say oh look i got money i can do stuff with or you can look into what your interests are and any excess money that you have just spend researching that topic getting to know it and if it's somewhere you want to spend a lot of time and a lot of resources on then if you're spending resources in that system whatever it is that you're interested in that means other people are spending time resources money in that system as well and if you're finding that you spending a lot of time in that system is getting a little taxing right is affecting certain other aspects of your life where you know in terms of monetary budget and stuff then look into that system see if you want to invest in that system particular system whatever it is quick version of that invest in what you know period that's i think warren buffett said that but before warren buffett many other people have said this right so invest in what you know and what you're interested in right are you interested in the stock market trying to figure out how it works are you trying to f find be able to write your own code if you want to write your own code to analyze data for the stock market then you're going to have to watch the markets and look at the metrics but that's really learning the mathematics right uh, sorry if it's that's sort of a this way because investing is very personal right uh, first order of business for you should be your health uh, and try to get out of debt and then once you're out of debt once you start building a little surplus you're a free human being congratulations there are very few people on this planet that are free human beings okay so Pay off your debt stay healthy because staying healthy is one of the only ways that you can pay off your debt right stay healthy pay off your debt start building a surplus you're a free human being where do you want to spend your time it's not supposed to be very loud turn your volume to max <laughs> hopefully it won't drop anything there's something wrong with uh, your mic chicho is there that's 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 
Am I free? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go down, gang. I'm hopefully the sound is okay. Let me put this down. Test, 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 test. Should I mess with the? I think it's fine now. Okay, I'm not gonna touch anything. <laughs> it had static for a while. Oh, static! What? Little bugger, Mike. I'm using everything to the max. So agreed on paying off debt. That's the quickest way to get the best return on your money. Fresh out of school, yeah, big time. I'm reading from the bottom up, gang. Uh, inflation is key. That is why it is so good to have debt. Inflation eats away at the loan. Uh, curious, Devin, Devin, there's tremendous amount of inflation right now, right? Even though they're not counting it, that means your money is not buying as much. The interest rates you're paying right now aren't that much, but what that money is able to buy you is not that much either, right? It's sure our our current crony debt-based economic system is built on debt it's not it's not dependent on how much money you have in the bank it's how much money you can get from the bank right that's the way our current economic system has been for the last jeez 1913 <laughs> all right just pick a random date <laughs> 1913 right however we're seeing things change a little bit be careful with that I'm in school. I want to uh, leave my crappy country when I'm older. Chicho, I think we should distinguish good debt from bad debt. Okay, yeah, agree, Korea Stevan. Also, what is your feelings on inflation being understated? It's extremely understated. Inflation is way higher than two to three percent that they're stating. Gaylord, how are you doing? Um, good debt and bad debt. Good debt. See. Um, there's a couple of ways we, can, we have to distinguish this curious, right? There's certain type of debt that you can accumulate that if you can't pay it back, you declare bankruptcy is wiped clean. There's certain debt that you can't do that with. However, that certain debt that you can't, you can't do that with, education is part of that. So spending money to get an education is a good idea, but that debt, depending if you got it from the government, is never wiped out. So you're... If you're not able to pay that pretty rapidly, you're into debt servitude, right? So spending money on it is good. Getting an education is good. But the type of debt you're accumulating is brutal. And that law came into effect in the United States in 2005. Look into it. That was before the 2007-2008 financial collapse. However, everyone in the background that was looking at data knew it was coming. So they passed laws to prevent people from going bankrupt. They made bankruptcy more difficult, right? There's money you can spend buying yachts, going to bars, going on trips up the yin yang, buying jet planes, right? Buying fast cars and crashing them, right? That's wasted money. You could go into debt for that, right? What a waste of money. However, you can declare bankruptcy the money the debt is you're debt free so again that's what a waste of money but then it's easy money you can wipe write it off the good debt bad debt is becoming trickier to navigate really insightful stuff i'm lucky enough to be relatively debt free since i've had a job through my studies and uh, i'm in the uk so it's debt. uh so a debt tied to me having a certain income level etc oh, okay cool i'm a free man because i only spend what i earn note that awesome martin may i jump in for sure that system may not be wrong i'm from germany money changed back then we had a money system where like every two years or so you had to uh you're talking about jubilee you had to swap your money to the new currency oh no to the new currency and government got like 10 percent so people spent uh, their money so that 10 percent they had to pay was less now they just hoard money uh, to a certain degree you're talking about velocity of money if you have to exchange your money and then government gets 10 percent and stuff like that what that did basically increased the velocity of money so 
promote a trade that's one thing uh, the metrics one of the metrics that people look at as well right how fast is money moving hands if money is moving hands fast then the economy is vibrant good but if there is places where the money is being locked up right money moves moves from one person to another one for the one institution to another locks up that stops the flow of the money going into the economy right that's part of hoarding to a certain degree uh, there's a fine balance to be had there's a fine balance to be had did I take you uh, did it take you a while to make it your primary source of income index Ooh, what, was it? what did index make I've heard some people lose thousands before oh this is the trading stuff they start to make anything substantial back and it's a steep learning curve if you really want to get yourself into it as far as trading I think that's for trading Morris um, it was for me it can be let's check it out that's the problem obviously a lot of this is circumstantial but it's worth learning how free uh, frequently it is apparent before jumping in When did this uh, Gaylord? If you're still here, when did this? Uh, when are we talking about? We're in Germany, where every couple of years you have to bring your money in. The government kept ten percent, and then you exchanged it. That's a, that'd be an interesting form of taxation, I guess. You have to wash your money every two years or every five years. Uh, five years it'd be um, two percent per year. The government would be taking taxes. I don't think the government would be happy with that. 10% would be every two years they take 10% of your income and there would be no other taxes in the system the tax system is huge that needs to be looked at in a big way in a big way in a big way I want to scroll back up oh, there's a big text came up oka oka ok ok one oka ok one Welcome back, brother. You subscribe for two months is tier one. Nice. There's certainly uh, uh, there's certainly a learning curve, and you should expect to lose some of your capital during that time. Uh, the catch, however, is more that more that you need enough total capital to begin with that you don't create a self-made yeah self-made margin call. When you need money to pay your bills every month or every year you can't weather the storm that is market cyclically cyclicality cyclicality some years i won't make anything other years i'll make a lot it just depends okay what uh, index is talking about here is uh, trading in the markets Wall Street and stuff like this and there's something called margin call and what you can do with margin call is this let's assume you have this much money in the markets okay which with whatever institution you're using to trade through if you have this much money let's say that's a hundred dollars or a million dollars or a hundred thousand dollars or a thousand dollars whatever it might be thousand dollars you won't qualify but let's say a hundred thousand dollars or a million dollars or fifty thousand dollars or something whatever institution you're trading with if you have this much capital they may be willing to give you anywhere between 20 25 percent to 50 percent margin that means they'll allow you on this debt to borrow 50% up to 50% of the capital to reinvest right they're doing it because they make money off your trades right so all of a sudden you don't only have this much you also have this much debt that you can play with right so let's assume you go full margin and you maximize you found out something was going to be a great buy and you go all in you borrow this is how much money you had you borrow 50% on top of that put it on top right you invest it all now the percent that they allowed you to borrow borrow was based on how much your worth was right so let's say your worth is this now all of a sudden the market does an adjustment a correction is 25% right so let's say it drops goes down to this 
wait a second if you go below this amount your original amount if you're here all of a sudden let's say you're down here the amount you borrowed was based on this much not this much right all of a sudden you're gonna have a margin call you're gonna have to cover that debt not all of it but a certain percent so if you need to sell what you're invested in then the price of that thing might start dropping so what's gonna happen is your worth slowly gonna start dropping as you cover your margins if this is systematic if a lot of people have done this the value of that thing drops huge because everybody's dumping at the same time i.e don't be fully invested into anything make sure you have enough money put aside a nest egg where you can cover your expenses name of the game is have minimum of six months minimum six month worth of living expenses put aside minimum preferably two years two years of your expenses covered put it aside right work your way up to two years okay while you're doing that start playing around with different systems uh, i don't know how's it called maybe middle age uh, middle ages okay that's when the germany thing was happening it'd be i'd be interested to see how that worked now at that time when with when knights were castles okay thank you um, gaylord uh, so during that period the financial system was totally different things changed in the 19th century debt fiat currency took over in a huge way hey dude j him behoy you have Conan graphic novels, yes. I have the original Conan comic, Comix. Conan number one by Roy Thomas and Barry Windsor Smith. We're going to do a reading on that. It's 100% an American margin accounts, Chicho. Nice. That's what I used to do too. In this. <laughs> it's a fun ride, man. <laughs> I'm just lurking and listening and just now get to drop my two cents on a certain question from before you should learn to code if you can uh, if you can interfacing with computers will become more and more of a critical skill in the future and knowing one language makes it easier to learn others awesome great advice kata cat tat the potato cat cat tat the potato cat fantastic advice if I had to do it all over again, I would do everything that I've done within reason. But I would also learn programming. I would have put more time into it. The way they were teaching us programming was horrendous. We were learning Pascal and Fortran. And it was just oh, so bad. And the, it was the early stages, right? And I didn't last through the BS. Uh, coding, very, very important. You have enough debt you can afford. Yeah this turned into personal finances this turned into personal finance investing yourself 10 percent of your paycheck every month great advice invest in yourself 10 percent of your paycheck every month why not one well played this stream lags a bit does it ah oh, that's unfortunate oh that's too bad i checked the connection i'm collecting connected in directly I can't kick up the speed on this at all and i've turned down my torrents no computers are communicating ups or downs so uh, sometimes it does this right hello sir i was in debt for a total of a year needed to take a loan out as a last resort that year was dedicated to making sure i paid off more than my minimum monthly payments repayment i wanted uh, that that wiped out fast as uh, possible yeah fast as haha -ha. yeah i learned that the hard way i wasn't that I, I i carried debt for a long time i was living it up i didn't i didn't care right i was making good money and i was making good money and not paying off that and carrying that debt and still playing and stuff i learned a lot during that period not that some of the best financial decisions i've ever made but learned a lot agreed i'm a former business student turned software developer it's an humble it's unbelievable how important it is in the world we live in yeah no lag with me okay awesome nicholas 
that free now, Nicholas. Nicholas, what do you do for a living? Mm, maybe, maybe. Uh, I teach uh, mathematics, uh, and I'm trying to, uh, in a big way, to decentralize myself right now because I think decentralization is extremely, extremely important just because of a lot of flare-ups taking place around the world and locally, politically, on every level. Uh, so um, I teach mathematics. I do these things, uh, live streaming. I upload stuff on YouTube, BitChute. Uh, I'm s selling some stuff on eBay. Uh, what else am I doing? I do personal one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one math tutoring. I'm building a math curriculum online. I'm decentralizing. Uh, I just live my life and make sure I, I'm generating enough revenue to pay off my life live my life the way I want to live my life Chicho you should try you should try and learn to code you're a math guy I'm sure you catch on to it quicker than most uh, code uh, code code Academy is a good online platform to learn uh, twitching Jason maybe at some point I will I have so much on my plate right now so much on my plate right now I think once I we're a couple of years in into putting out modules for our math curriculum that's when i'll get into learning the coding that way i can build some stuff in the background on hopefully platform that we're building where people can learn mathematics right right now though i won't be using it so it's not worth my while if i'm learning something i want to learn it and use it at the same time right so I don't want to learn something as a hobby because I already got a lot on my plate, right? Uh, I'm I'm doing a, I'm doing a fair bit, uh, but for sure, I will at some point. I think. No lack here, but my neighbor was evicted last week, so no call of duty now. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Did he do a midnight run? Midnight move? over a year free awesome nicholas hey chicho and chat glad to catch the live stream once again lonely piggy how are you doing welcome welcome index congratulations definitely worth celebrating yeah being debt free is very few people are in this world in the western world anyway i would like to investigate that twitching jason coding i think that's what they're talking about coding 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 we're gonna I'm gonna be loading on today uh, most likely today the process is being done on the other computer right now uh, packing up our comic books our first comic books that we sold on eBay for them to go on their way <laughs> and we got some data it's gonna be linked up with ASMR mathematics I'm not calling it ASMR math but it will be in the ASMR math thing as well because it's got some uh, couple of sp it's a, a spreadsheet and a couple of calculations uh, that we're going to start building on any update in the Assange situation Assange is this is we sort of knew this was going to happen it was going to be a big thing going on right where they might zap him right away they didn't put him in jail right and Assange basically from what I understand they didn't contest the 10 months 50 50 weeks in jail that he got put in because that, that's going to give him enough time to try to fight the extradition hearing uh, unfortunately what's going on with Sassange is uh, what goes on with many uh, situations extremely serious situations there's so much other stuff going on that Assange is not uh, on the forefront of most people's minds right which is unfortunate because it's extremely important and I think they're strategically they're doing the right stuff the Assange team they're not in the radar right now in a big way to a certain degree they are if you're looking but huge demonstrations and activism hasn't taken place um, I think because there's so much stuff going on the timing of this is going to be insane I Nicholas I, I'm following it for sure um, 
but it's when they play the cards it's such a uh, what do you call that uh, such a technical maneuver right now both from the US government and UK government and the Ecuadorian government and the Australian government's side okay basically it's the from the US side because as uh, rap news media uh, put out they put out their last uh, is really good uh, it used to be called uh, I forget all the names uh, rap news they do uh, they do the two-minute government adverbs right as they stated basically the Australian government the UK government and the Aqu uh, Ecuadorian government they're basically America's bitches right like that's what they are they they don't represent the citizens of their countries not by a long shot right so their play is very strategic very tactical right now assange's team is play and everyone that supports them is very technical right now we're going to see how it plays out they might do a midnight uh pull on him they might uh don't know they might let him uh, rot in jail chicho i've never bought a new car before i'm considering it now though can you get a deal if you pay with cash or is that only for used cars um we bought you uh, new cars before okay it was easier to get a better deal paying with cash in the 80s and 90s than it is now it's because everything has become so uh, digital right so i remember in the 90s walking to a new car dealership and with the family saying we want that car and that was a price tag on it and my father wrote a check right signed it and said this is what i'll pay for it okay and the just to just to put some context in there uh, that was a dealership that my father had done that before with another car that he was buying and they said no so he went and bought another car and when we went to this dealership it was with the other car <laughs> and the guy was like hey you were here a couple of years ago looking for a car blah, 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 blah. oh yeah you guys didn't take my offer so i went and bought this car and here's my offer now and then the guy goes no 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 he goes go get the manager blah, 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 blah. you could have done it before uh in the 80s and 90s when you drove through the united states if you went to a gas pump right um, there was two different prices prices for people who paid with credit cards and prices gas prices that you could buy at the pump with cash the cash payment was the cash price for gasoline was always less than the credit card price so if they were charging you I forget what it was let's say dollar 20 per um, gallon of gasoline in the United States okay back in the 90s 80s 90s right uh, if you paid with credit card then with cash it was dollar 15. i don't know what it is now it there was recent new car bought uh within family and they didn't do it cash they went with the zero percent financing but index right now as far as i know uh, car companies are trying to dump their cars there's a excess of cars right now so from what i understand if you make him a good deal you'll get a good deal right try to lowball them and just take it off their hands they need to clear up space they need to clear up space i highly encourage it i only i'm only so passionate i'm o i'm only so passionate about it because my dad used to suggest I learn to code when I was younger and I never listened. And years later now, I only wish I started sooner. Yeah. <laughs> take your take your parents' advice <laughs> in general, right? Uh, Martin, thanks. I used to write programs back in the day, but I uh, really want to learn something, uh, something uh, future proof. In my experience in the UK, cash on a new car will knock off a couple of couple of hundred they make it seem like you are getting a deal 
but that uh, couple of hundred was always there to be knocked off anyway so no real bargain uh, Nicholas it used to be a way better deal here with cash back in the 80s and 90s like you could get 10 percent 15 20 percent better deal off the uh, not 20 percent 10 percent let's say knocked off I sell cars in my opinion never buy new yeah well, it drops in value at 50 percent as soon as you drive it off the lot python is huge and growing i'm really interested in how uh, it'll be used for machine learning and data science moving forward so python is growing huge eh? new car markup for one thing is insane but also value depreciation is like setting fire to your wallet uh so raw clarification here right if you're gonna buy a new car index look into electric because right now there are the electric cars are way too expensive for the general population okay so a lot of people that want to get electric cars because they're living on a budget they realize if they get an electric car then they're saving money on gas right so there's a whole branch of people in canada anyway i'm pretty sure it's the same in the united states in canada i'll say in canada but most likely in the united states there's a whole group of people segment of society that wants to get an electric car to reduce their expenses but they can't afford new electric cars so the real sale value of electric cars is pretty good because there's a huge backlog of people wanting to buy used electric cars so i think electric cars uh, might be the way to go the resale value is going to stay up as long as the good electric car i haven't really looked into it too much i know that paying in cash is cheaper in Israel anywhere you can haggle and they can avoid tax it works beautifully yeah unfortunately in Canada United States is very difficult Morris very difficult a lot of places the comic shop I go to I like buying cash right the comic shop I go to I pay them cash everybody pays them debit credit whatever right I barely ever seen anybody use cash right and the comic store owner told me that it costs them more money to deposit cash in the bank than it does to use the interact or credit card so their bank is charging them money for bringing in cash scary speaking of cars i was just telling my wife this last night i got in my youtube recommended a video that someone taped uh, on the news the morning of 9 11 there was a commercial pre-attack of a 2002 Mitsubishi Lancer going for 14,000 brand new the fact that new cars now go for 30 to 50,000 seems insane in such a short time um, you can get new cars I don't know if it's the same caliber you can get new cars right now for like 10 grand Canadian they're low end but they'll get you from A to B uh, new cars uh, yeah they're pretty expensive high-end medium to high-end new cars are pretty expensive uh, but you can get low-end cars for really cheap the drunks are building up at the bar it's a great Friday night <laughs> do you guys say hey, Martin do you guys have lineups to go into your uh, into your bar or are you like a local bar where people just drift in and out lived there for three years and the social rules are hilarious in israel crazy got to hop off for a bit for a little bit in case i can't come back before the end of the stream i hope everyone has a fantastic weekend you too twitching jason you too we'll be here on sunday for comic book stream if you're a game and then monday i think investing in personal finance i see the politics tag are we pro or anti-trump neither I couldn't give a rat's ass about Trump. I think most people here feel the same as well. Why would we care? Personally, I don't care about the elites that have been chosen to be the representative of institutions that are spending our tax dollars and waging war. The problem with electric cars used at least is that you can't really work on them yourself yeah and dealerships are finicky with maintenance on them automatically you're paying through the nose for it too really okay 
So you can't work on electric cars, not yet anyway, I'm assuming. I'm assuming at some point it's gonna kick in, but it's too early now. Uh, but isn't there uh, mechanic shops that are popping up that are dealing with used electric cars? Like, or maintaining electric cars? That might be an industry. If anybody's a mechanic here, you know stuff about cars and electric cars specifically. If there aren't around, that could be one place that for sure there's going to be growth where people warranties run out and people are sick and tired of taking it to the the dealership because they do charge you an arm and a leg for just looking at the car start off a mechanic shop that only deals with electric cars talk about a growth sector when i was running my business a few years ago you could open up different types of accounts some were online credit focus and you would pay for uh, deposit cash or some were pay for online deposit cash not sure what it is like now yeah i don't know either i haven't done that for a long time best president ever for some uh jacron for some for some the worst president ever for me same as obama and bush and bush jr bush senior same crap that's to me just a door supervisor checking id nice and uk is 18 isn't it Mark? visually interesting that was in the uk yeah here they have different types of accounts too uh visually interesting but i'm not sure what the uh what the different things you have to fill in and what type of accounts you can get now I've that I that stuff I did a long time ago my 401 has made a lot of money because of Trump's economy he has my vote in 2002 so you don't care about the economic warfare that's taking place or the proxy wars or selling uh, billions of dollars of weapons to nations that are annihilating tens of thousands of people and bringing hundreds of thousands of people to the brink of starvation you don't care that your foreign policy trump's it's not just trump's foreign policy but u.s foreign policy is is responsible for the wave of mass migration that's taken to place into the united states where they're being the streets are being filled with homeless people and the banking institution as long as your 401k is doing good do you realize macron that your 401k let's say it's gone up 10 percent is not going to save you if you take what is taking place to the limit take your take your investment to the limit let's say you're making 20 percent per year All right compound that crap take a look at the global situation what's taking place right now you tell me if 20% growth, you're not getting 20%, I know that for sure. Right? Let's assume you're getting 20% for 10 years. You think in 10 years time, that 401k is gonna be your lifeline? Bit of an uh, off topic question, but I found you on the ASMR subreddit several months ago when, you, <laughs> when your liqueur video was brand new. Uh, you said in the video that the summer is the best time to refresh let the liqueur uh, do its thing uh, any chance of another liqueur update video soon August it's one of my favorite of yours for sure uh, chaotic uh, intake L let's plan on it for August if I haven't done one on August in September here is hot too we'll do it in September for sure I promise myself I'll I'll start planning out the liqueur video as soon as i get one math video out i really need to get one major math project out the door and i'll let you know what the math project is um, recently for the last three four five years i've started getting some students from elementary school with the mathematics stuff that i was creating the the plan was and is to create a whole series starting from the real number set however i'm going to kick that back i'm going to put a set of videos together uh or one long video and i'm going to cut it up i've already planned it out i'll see how it plays out right I might do a live stream of it the full day me sitting there trying to create this right and the editing process is going to take a little bit of time 
Uh, basically, I'm going to teach counting. Okay, start from just counting numbers. One, two, three, four, five, da, 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 da. Kick it into addition. Kick it into multiplication. Kick it into the 10 by 10 multiplication table that we've already created. It's needed. I've had too many people in the last few years come to me that they're having, because the our current um, elementary education system has completely collapsed as well in terms of mathematics, right? So I've had a fair bit of clients coming in saying, they're asking me to work with their kids in grade four and five and six and seven. So I'm like, okay, I gotta create this. That way I can just forward them that, work with them and forward them that. It's crazy. The stock market so i gotta get that done before i can do the math <laughs> lick your video that's my long-winded answer to that the stock market is in a 11 year bull market love a lot what did you expect it did great under obama too yeah when 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 trump took over the stock market was sitting around eighteen thousand. okay when obama after 2008 it went down to 75 i think 75 can't remember now 78 I, don't know, eight, I can't remember it went below 10,000 for sure and then it, Obama just gave the US government to Wall Street right so the current yeah and Trump kept it going going well fair point I suppose <laughs> he's good for some but not for all yeah my car just had its 25,000 250,000 mile birthday nice old school Subaru I bought off the side of the road a couple of years ago. It's got my and me through a lot of good traveling. It's nice. Padre, 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 padre. How are you doing? I had a Subaru, and at a hundred thousand clicks, the engine blew. And I found out that some Subarus, uh, it was an Outback. Uh, they have that problem. One hundred thousand, the engine pops. I didn't like that. I made it was a brand new Subaru too that we bought. I made a guava liqueur. It's tasted so so bad. <laughs> okay. But the other ones turned out great. Okay, stay away from guava. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up. <laughs> I was like, I was like, guava, oh that might be good. Oh no, it's not good. Okay, stay away from guava. That's true. There are uh, there are uh, oh wow, lots of chats too. Uh, to start doing best quotes what where are we that's true there are there are pop-up mechanics that can work on electric but an increasing problem now is that the electric cars are being uh, designed uh, proprietary almost tamper proof if you don't have dealership equipment this is actually true for modern cars and an increasing trend uh, however electric cars is harder because by default they're more delicate to work with wow Sarua, that's crazy that's like the uh apple model right you couldn't change the batteries you have to buy the whole brand new thing right they got sued and then i think they have to make the battery changeable or something like this that'll have to play out in the court systems i think trump is just the expression of false political revolution iran's new controlled opposition but turns out turn turns on its head yeah of course not jijo the american way is the way of self-interest it the index is not though really i man some of the greatest activists the world has ever seen have come from the united states uh there are amazing people in the united states that are spending all their time energy finances for the betterment of humanity so i don't know it's it's programming they're trying to instill on people is it sticking on everyone it's not so we need to start do washington dc 100 percent <laughs> the core of washington dc american political and news corporate class 100 percent self-interest we need to start doing best quotes of these streams and roaming roaming around the house listening to the stream on wireless headphones all i hear is i don't give a rat sounds what i start laughing I'm like a madman while i'm making my granola and greek yogurt that my family thinks i'm god insane as they have no idea i have wireless buzz in my ears 
hilarious, Nicholas. <laughs> Too funny. <laughs> Too funny. Where did we go? I lost it. Oh my god. Poppin, poppin. No, because it's not the in, uh, in test as you're conveying. Fair point. Da, 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 da. That sounds interesting. 18 to, 18 to buy. Uh, but challenge 25 in effect okay so if you look 25 or younger you got to be challenged id required so if you look under 25 expect to ask them that. yeah same as here in canada but we're 19 and 25 19 and 30 i think maybe not governance uh practice but i'd like trump himself because of the massive salt he generates from the other side salt which i uh, subsist on i'm a salt vampire <laughs> So, yeah, certain fruits don't seem uh, to translate. Yeah, certain fruits don't. It's weird, eh? It's interesting. Certain fruits do, certain fruits don't for the liqueur. Uh, turning news is raiding with a party of 18. Uh oh. Are we getting. <laughs> I don't know what. The troll action going on is now hosting. We got a host. Thank you for the host. Uh, hello, nice people. Hello, nice people. Touring news. Oh, touring news. I know about touring news. What is touring news? Uh, the sweeter fruits are probably the best. I think maybe the tartus you could go is a blackberry, raspberry. I've tried plum. Plum is very strong as well. I, I wouldn't be making plum again, I don't think. Uh, crab apple tasted great though. Strong. And the, eating the crab apples is fantastic, which I also like to try at some point yeah blackberry amazing i've drank blackberry a lot welcome touring news welcome hey touring news we have a raid just bringing some friends over uh that like the news awesome thanks for popping by touring news awesome welcome folks welcome yeah i did strawberry lemon and blueberry which were all fantastic awesome awesome wow i'm losing up some of the chat if there's any questions you guys have just put chicho uh just message you know put chicho live in the thing at chicho live and i'm just gonna sc uh, scroll down again hello chicho would you think of the labor theory of value labor theory of la value uh you gotta specify i'm really bad with all this terminology what it encompasses what's the umbrella that the labor theory of value uh encompasses are you talking about uh the marxian stuff where a labor should own the value gained on whatever you're building stuff like this and what aspect of that i'm not i can't you know i can make comments in general umbrella of something that encompasses something but right now everything's just in such a mishmash everything's everything's in flux right now and words and parties are being hijacked right that like you know people call bernie sanders socialist but that socialism is a huge umbrella bernie sanders stuff is on the fringe over here of socialism that also means socialism huge socialism for corporations as well which is what we have now retaining corporate socialism introducing individual so like what aspect what is, what is the exact policy it's like i don't want to say do you like democrat or republican i hate them both right you're going to work with really high voltage if you work on an electric vehicle uh for most backyard think, uh, tinkers that might be too dangerous also on the top of electric vehicles they depreciate much more than conventional engine driven ones no uh a resale value from what i understand is higher the batteries lose the ability to hold charge the batteries are also hard to recycle as a side note yeah and they require a lot of uh, uh, a lot of resources to create but th the only thing that's going to happen is battery life is going to increase we've been saying that for like 20 years since ballad uh, ballard right oh it's any time now that we're gonna have batteries that are phenomenal but we're not there yet I didn't want to make huge ones until I found ones I really like. I also used 100 proof vodka because, well, that seemed cool. <laughs> that's 50%. That's Sweet, thanks. Any advice on measuring out how much sugar to use versus how much uh, alcohol? Um, 
I, I don't do the measurements. Usually, in general, on I like mine sweet, so I add more sugar than more sugar than not. Like some people add like adding less sugar. Some people I give them a liqueur too. They're like, oh, too sweet, too sweet, chicho. So we dilute it a little bit. Um, I haven't done the measurements exactly. I think uh, we did like around twenty six er of uh, liqueur, twenty six er bottle, and we put. 26 or anywhere 26 or plus or minus a quarter with how much was it um, one kilo of sugar was it four cups one kilo of sugar I think it's in the video I have to look it up again I usually just do it by sight right but I think for the videos we actually uh, stated what they were cars are just plain harder to work with even if you do know how a big secret though is if you know how where to pick up new batteries cheap yeah i used to have a friend that uh how to use battery it's like a it was auto wreckers but it was battery restorers they sold a lot of batteries i think he's still doing it i see a lot of new names tonight so a lot of you are breaking the first rule of chicho you must not talk about chicho <laughs> i should have written this down but i uh, filled the jar to the top with whatever fruit did a third of a cup of sugar i believe and then filled the rest uh, with vodka and what kind of a how big was the jar was the jar one liter jars uh, what was i using yeah see for me i change up the jar size too i'm just looking at the liqueurs right now I, I wouldn't put one kilo uh, of sugar in, in a one liter jar, but one cup, most likely, like uh, Heskia, Mr. Heskia says. Nicholas, nah, raids are cool. People send their followers over to participate in sport. No trolls yet. Okay, awesome. Thanks, Nicholas. I wasn't 100% sure on this. One time we did get a raid coming in, and the whole system crashed, and there was like lots of trolls. I was like, oh no. Sweet, thanks a lot. We'll keep that in mind welcome of course yeah you just talk about world it's the marxist law of value it's a statement of fact not morals uh da -da. nothing to do with whatever workers should do it's, it's the mark mark marxist law of values it's a statement of fact not morals that's the labor thing uh, so basically the whole concept of when something is made the value being put on that thing is put on the by labor is that what we're talking about he means that a an object value is determined by its hours of work rather than a, a sup, uh, supply arbitrary price to a certain degree but it's resources as well and it's ingenuity as well it's not just a simple concept of uh, I, I don't agree with the whole philosophy that everybody should be paid the same uh, the person who invents something uh, hasn't contributed as much as the worker who builds that something I, I don't believe in that philosophy I think those are too broad of uh, too broad of definitions and uh, ways of thinking of how an economy works right everybody's economic standards beliefs should be their own if you think your time is more valuable than where you're spending it and how much you're being compensated for it figure out a way to get out of that situation you're in right i agree there are monopolies in power governments centralized power corporations individuals that will prevent you from bettering your life i agree sometimes that requires direct action sometimes that requires mass movement sometimes it requires this dot 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 sometimes however it requires it requires you to say the hell with it i'm out of here man i'm not gonna do that thing for you right and before you do that you gotta have to make sure that's why two years of funds put aside to buy your freedom is very important because once you're a free human being it's very difficult for centralized power to hold you in chains right so we can't just look at just those aspects hopefully i'm going off on the right thing i'm going to try to catch up again 
means that the object value da, da, da. I think not necessarily the best thing people can do but something I see as attainable is getting people especially people who heavily identify with their political party to look at what their own political party is doing 100% agree too much looking at the other side let's things slide by uh, by on your side yeah and that's one of the philosophies that personally i learned when i was really young our parents always told us when things go bad never point your finger and say their fault always point your finger towards you and say you're the first person that the fault goes towards because you put yourself in that situation okay that's one thing that's not happening and that's something we, we talked about both parties both we're just going to talk about democrat or republican they're running on fear of the other party they're not saying what they're doing well trump to his credit he did say what he was going to do and he is trying to do what he's he said he was going to do right so but they're both really running on fear saying you fear the other person therefore vote for me the hell with them don't vote for you know, either of them and look at look inside first awesome uh, feel free to chip in with topics open discussion the stream open discussion usually in general chicho have you uh <laughs> nicholas i have a conversation with my friends he more supports railways for u.s transportation i say charge ahead to implement autonomous systems interstate inner city driving some ways to prevent uh, congestion and traffic touring news i think it's too expensive uh to majorly update rail lines still help but uh, look for future yeah it could work the problem is again is a centralization power who's gonna have control over those roadways right are you gonna have tolls set up every few kilometers maybe that's okay system right and it'll give people more incentive to buy self-driving cars so it'll be a huge boom to the self-driving industry if there's a just imagine a highway put in where only self-driving cars can go parallel to regular highways slowly you maybe that's got me thinking touring news i like that i know the they're gonna try to i, I think the first place that's trying to be implemented is with uh trucking uh trucking supplies especially coming in from mexico right I think they're trying to build a dedicated highway that can fast track if they haven't already i think that started in mid 2000s or 16 ounce, 16 ounces jar 16 ounce jar 16 ounce jar. what's a liter a liter is i forget now what it is 16 ounce jar i think that's a liter we're close to a liter thanks mr uh hezekiah greetings chicho neuropilot greetings greetings welcome to our live streams did you see the fbi agent looking into clinton stuff committed suicide in public in a nightclub i heard something yeah and the place was cordoned off by authorities so they could check everyone there for phones to make sure nothing had been recorded yeah the clinton kill list is huge anybody that still denies that there is a sheet of a lot of people that were associated with the clintons that have looked into the clintons that have been suicided is huge or had little plane accidents fall down like the kennedy right kennedy jr and his wife his pregnant wife right all of a sudden their small plane falls crashes and there's a spot open for hillary clinton to get into the senate my oh my or congress or whatever right there is a civil war in the united states do not fool yourselves it's right now on or for a number of years it's been the elites fighting amongst themselves it is now filtering down into general population with the different factions deciding to become violent in their protest do not fall for that do not become violent uh, if you're participating in a certain process 
interesting can you go into a bit of more detail on your view please yeah i'm curious too touring news about the self-driving highways is there anything in the works for that stuff i'm not from the us so this may not count as much but i learned uh lean uh, to railways myself i love trains but the self-driving highways only for self-driving cars would be interesting a liter is approximately a liter is 36 ounces so half a liter so for about half a liter you put one cup of sugar so those are really sweet liqueurs those are really sweet eh you got a sweet tooth like me <laughs> i think uh i think it had more to do with his his family drama than the clintons maybe i don't know anybody associated with clintons that dies uh big question mark comes up with trucking they are also doing something called uh, um, platooning where the lead truck oh is in human control and the ones following behind are autonomously driven they can close the distance to the lead truck closer than a human could safely do and so they benefit aerodynamically from the lead truck ah oh, that is cool i've seen some of the videos of the truck trucks that are on the brake system the automatic brakes and those are crazy cool how fast those trucks the high-end trucks are stopping right that's interesting i like to see that i like to see that i used to do that uh going across the i-5 from vancouver to california not the smartest thing to do when you're a kid you try to save money right uh, back in the 80s and 90s early 90s you go behind trucks to become more aerodynamic but not don't do that this is a stupid thing to do and the truck drivers don't like it i'm super happy they're finally trying to throw jeffrey epstein away or get him suicided recently right i hope he's not suicided i hope he sings like a like a canary or is a canary or a mockingbird or whatever the terminology is uh, man that guy is a one of the most disgusting creatures on this planet that associated with some of the other most disgusting people on this planet many of them in the spotlight right i hope he takes down uh, a lot of them jfk jr crashed from taking risks and flying above his training no conspiracy maybe neuropilot maybe i don't know I just know when he died clinton stepped in right and anytime you see the you see clinton there every red flag should be going off morris neuropilot works for the clintons <laughs> can you see that let me see if i can get into the sun oh you won't be able to see it reflects too much the jam it's so tart it's so tart you can't do one you always gotta do two it's so tart it's so tart oh half a liter he puts a third of a cup okay okay i make mine sweeter <laughs> for a liter i probably put a full cup okay third of a cup thanks for the correction thanks for the correction finally made it to another chicho stream cd rom how are you doing cd rom rom what are your thoughts on the scandinavian socialism and the implementation of this in the u.s canada here's one thing i don't like about the scandinavian um, socialism is it F finland i believe finland norway i forget which one it is they're going full digital currency no cash scary i'm i'm not into that right so i agree with education with the healthcare, with the social safety net any society has got to be crazy not to provide that to its citizens right it's like a family 
Just imagine living in a family and people will say it's not scalable. Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> the family is scalable to a nation, to the family, global family. That's why you call it a global, it's scalable, right? Just imagine living in a family where everybody buys their own food. Everybody has to pay for their own um, health care. Everybody, and if one person can't do it, everyone says, get out of the house. They kick them out. Slowly, what you're going to have is, because over time, everybody gets sick. Everybody needs help. Okay. Slowly over time, there's only going to be one person left in there. And after that, the bank is going to take over and that person is gone too. Any country is going to be insane not to provide education, health care, and housing to people. Okay. It's in the limit. It's detrimental to the society. Okay. I agree with that. I don't agree with giving centralized power where all anonymity, all privacy, where everything you do is looked, scrutinized by centralized power. That is totalitarianism. That can go very, very dark, very, very fast. We've seen it happen. Self-driving highway system could be a big economics works program like the New Deal. Yeah. Padre, 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 Padre. I 100% agree. That would be super cool. I, it would be amazing if you're driving and you could go this way, self-driving car, and just hop in the lane and press a button and go have tea with the family in the back seat. Thanks, man. I'm okay with Scandinavian socialism in the U.S. Yes, he has no... Oops. Yes, he has so many powerful people connected to him. It would be nice to know what those names are. Yeah. And bring to light what they did. Bring to light what they did. Not like Whoopi Goldberg. It's not really rape. <laughs> Whoopi, it's not really late rape Goldberg type of stuff. Legit, right? That was legit, but it's not really what? Whoopi, are you nuts? Right? Find out what they did. Hey guys, been a while since I caught a stream. Jacoby, how are you doing? If Epstein brings brings others down, they can't claim it's a Clinton conspiracy given uh, Bill's connections. Uh, Bill should be one of the first ones that goes down. Twenty six times. Twenty six times on the lead. The Lolita Express. Oh my, oh my. Oh my, oh my. Whose children were on those planes? Would they not want to know? I hope they rot in hell. Got serious. Jam face. I love sour things. The plum cherry, so good. If I work for the Clintons, I'd be a lot richer or dead. <laughs> and completely immoral, uh, vile creature trying to promote the Clintons. Seems like a lot more human smuggling cases are being solved. There's something at least the media is covering more with Trump in office. Yeah, and there are, anybody says that there aren't, there have been huge benefits with Trump in office. Okay, he's a vile creature. I don't like him, right? His warmongering with Iran is insane. Point of lunacy, right? Could turn into it could literally make him the most disgusting creature to have ever existed if this continues, right? Uh, under all eyes, even those who support him, right? However, there have been things that he, had, he promised he was going to do and he's working his ass off to do it, right? He's holding true to what he said he was running on. You can't say that about a lot of the other presidents, especially Obama or bush jr that is just beautiful light 
in your room right now. Nice. I got we got the sun coming in. <laughs> it's nice. The lighting in this place is phenomenal. Our plants love them. Love them. So did the occupants. Thank you. Catat the potato cat. Welcome back. Funny fact about Finland. Teaching is a highly respected profession placed alongside doctors and lawyers. Yeah, ECMA. I've looked into the way their teaching system works. It's really good. It's really good. And I'm a little biased, but teachers should be put on a very high level in society where they're not in terms of whatever, but it should be a profession that is, that is, I'm going to step on so many toes that gets the best of us to go towards it, right? I've come across, the, the system is just collapsed. It's, it's brutal. It's horrendous. In Canada, anyway, it's just garbage, right? There are pockets of people, of systems that are decentralized, that are popping up, that have some of the most amazing teachers that I've encountered some of the most amazing volunteers that I've encountered, some of the most amazing uh, administrators that I've encountered. But when you take it more and more centralized, you see that amazement disappear and it becomes a bureaucracy. And that is one of the most frightening aspects of complete socialist system where the centralized power is looking down and keeping track. And it's happening with capitalism too. It's not just socialism. It's our centralized institutions right now is the bureaucracy. And as soon as you start introducing all this bureaucracy into a system, then that narrows the choices of people that totally in the limit annihilates uh, communities, right? Education is such a beast. Hey, welcome back to Chicho Neil. <laughs> Sadly, I can't stay long. Just want to say hello. Hello, hello. Thanks for popping by, Jacoby. Thanks for popping by. We'll be around. We'll be doing this for a while, man. Hopefully, hopefully. Right? Cappy Neil, Pixie. Five minutes with Chicho is two hours anywhere else. <laughs> That's what she said. Did you say Monday was a, a professional uh, personal finance stream? Yeah, would be really interested to get involved in that one. Yeah, Morris, we're going to do personal finance investing, whatever. We did some of that today, too. It's open discussion. Um, but there is so much like everybody's so different. Their life choices are so different in what they need um, that we could just pick a topic and just talk about that for a couple of hours. I did not have sexual relationship with that woman. <laughs> I guess Bill's definition of sexual relationship is totally different than us. Same with Germany. My friend, staff assistant in the U.S. became a neuro neuro neurologist, went back to Germany, and is on a fast track to aerospace full uh, physiology clinical professor she is now wow hello hello rare popo how are you doing at the school my friend's kid went to they've had guest lectures at least two uh walked <laughs> on the moon really more uh commanded the shuttle and even more flew on the shuttle or soyuz to uh iss international space station even the basic instructors are highly accomplished usually with graduate level training uh, a neuro pilot uh, where is this it this must be some kind of base or private school or outside of canada united states to a certain degree canada might still have a little bit of that um, no instructors are highly accomplished usually with graduate level training yeah no it can't be canada I love you, Shisham, Dr. P. <laughs> Have a blessed day. You too, Dr. P. And thank you for posting the link on Discord. 
the thing that scares me about Trump is that since he has done what he says he will that means his word carry more heavy weight but he's so unstable with the words he chooses so he might have a lot of support for some good things but also for a lot of bad shit crazy yeah Padre, I agree with you and he hasn't done everything that he said he was going to do he said he was going to reduce foreign intervention he hasn't he hasn't invaded any countries right mm, has he invaded any countries it's not economic warfare it's a different type of war but it is war okay but technically speaking i believe obama had already annihilated libya start the war in syria and continued the support of the war in yemen uh, and basically start the war in yemen really to a certain degree obama that was obama right so obama i don't know if it happened in the first four years three countries annihilated right trump venezuela economic annihilation trying it with iran almost on the brink of ridiculousness right we have to measure those he's dropped uh in the in the first four years so far he's dropped less bombs than obama than in eight years right obama dropped way more bombs than bush jr right and bush jr started iraq jikes right but obama uh trump has dropped uh, more bombs than bush jr I think more bombs in the first four years of Obama, but less than the eight so far. Is Discord under Chicho? Uh, I think so. Uh, no, it's you can't personalize the Discord name, can you? It's under some name. You have to uh, number thing. If you scroll down on Twitch, uh, there's a link that takes you to Discord. If you click on it from what i know you can't personalize the chicho discord i don't know i looked into it before i'm pretty sure i must have he hasn't built a wall uh but he's been trying and that holds a lot of weight okay for his support those that want a wall i have just joined it recently okay cool hey chicho I frequently hear that public schools in Canada pass over uh, prospective teachers with graduate degrees because it's too expensive to pay their salaries, especially people with PhDs, which is shitty for me if I decide to ever want to teach at the high school level. Thoughts? Index, uh, I don't know if they're passing up, but I know the caliber of, uh, of teachers. I don't want to trash talk anyone because there are, there are amazing teachers out there. there are amazing teachers out there i used to encounter more amazing teachers than i do now right so the odds are uh, the pay is low uh, like i i wouldn't work for them not by long shot right it, like i looked at it i went what are you guys kidding me i know what it takes to teach it, it, that's not enough double maybe you think about it right so mm, the odds are yes Okay, and you don't want to teach at a university because you can't get adjunct uh, or not, uh, what do you call it, tenureship, right? You're just going to be an adjunct, which is part time, no, no benefits, no nothing. There are benefits in the, like, it's not bad. You get benefits, you get this, you get this, but the stress, the bureaucracy. Um, yeah, index, if you ever want to get into teaching, depending on what you want to teach, man, I would look into either private, hooking up with private schools doing long distance education online that's extremely rewarding especially in canada because there's a lot of kids that are living in small towns northern canada that don't have access to education and if you can tap into that market right where you're doing teaching over uh, online with them with video conferencing and stuff like this the the pressure you're relieving off the parents who are homeschooling the joy you see in the kids that learn and they learn fast man they start learning and they're vibrant it's amazing i don't know it takes a lot of legwork it takes word of mouth sometimes it's like index like you said 
like doing trading some years you don't make very much money right you're living off savings if you decide to move if you lose a connection if a, if this happens if whatever happens right but some years the word of mouth goes out and you're really busy and you have to chill down and some years you you cut everything back you say okay don't pass on my word to anyone i can't take any more people on right so that might be it um i haven't looked into the centralized version of a too much index it's not something that i would even consider getting into it will be the final act of his plans only 12 men have ever walked on the moon in maryland private non-profit uh, near military base private non-profit that non-profit is a catchphrase it, it, they're they're making profit the people running it are making profit the the institution is buying land and buildings building buildings so they're they're non-profit but it's an centralized it's an institution that is growing and acquiring more wealth right the long-term command uh, commandant was a retired marine two-star uh, physician now marine one-star physician he or she now doesn't accept that it's not our job as an excuse yeah that's good Nero it's everybody's responsibility to take care of uh, future generations right definitely agree on Obama Obama blew people up with drones left and right children he signed off he knew it was a kid that was going to be killed and he signed his name he got up in the morning he had a kill list and he signed off on it 14 year old American kid I think it was 14 should we kill him Obama yep he's sitting with his other kids on a cafe should we kill him yep people like him really I saw something on Twitter uh, someone uh, linked linked me up on Twitter there was a list that came out from these elites pedophile people saying the most respected people in our society Obama Trump and all these people right and the person said Obama the person who started wars and stuff and yeah I can't believe those lists come out I, I was gonna say something reply but I held it back I'm not interested in uh, because they pointed it out already that Obama is a mass murderer right discord yeah Chicho live okay awesome that's the disc oh yeah I should have just typed in discord thanks Nicholas he's worrying that general uh, even general Mattis had to resign Trump in Trump yeah or he got kicked out who knows right the neocons took over and Mattis was mad dog Mattis he's a mass murderer himself look at what he did in Fallujah look at some of his comments right he actually got out I've got to bow out Morris thank you for sticking around have a good weekend everyone you too you too I'm wildly off topic I'd like to make a uh, person and book recommendation the person is David uh, Gogens if you are ever having a day where you are feeling unmotivated he will light up a f light a fire under your ass the book is a monster calls it is about a kid whose mother is dying from cancer who is visited at night by a monster that tells him stories one of the best books I've ever read awesome awesome mr. and Zicky Zick been here for I can't even pronounce your name man I'm sorry uh, if you're on discord post it in the book light books under the light things I'll try to remember and do it but the odds are my memory sometimes we go through a lot right yes out of 12 captain John young he was a perennial uh, favorite and colonel buzz aldrin Cap uh, captain young's great granddaughter is currently enrolled at eight six and seven cool so it is an elite school by the way neuropilot i finished work in 16 minutes it's almost cider time <laughs> nice thanks for coming Morris. nicholas says interesting thanks index have a good day bye bit Mitsnis. the general in charge is paid as one star a decent paycheck especially with their retirement pay. yeah and man it reaches a certain point where as a human being you're not interested in accumulating more wealth you're interested in having an effect on our society right 
ideally the sooner you think that way the better right not these philanthropists that are sitting on trillions of dollars hundreds of billions of dollars and trying to market their own products so they can make more right a president who doesn't drop at least five bombs a week is out of office in four years yeah or five bombs every hour every day Obama the child bomber yeah heading out guys talk later talk later and that's good to have you back peace uh, it's okay <laughs> okay good thanks my pronunciation is brutal man general Mattis resigned not by Trump's request he repeatedly resigned uh, resigned Trump is on uh, dumper stuff thankfully like uh, thankfully like nuking North Korea yeah I don't think I think Mattis uh, or not North Korea wasn't going to be new North Korea wasn't going to be new. and North Korea is a huge plus on Trump's side right like if Obama was in office did what Trump did with North Korea there'd be people singing in the streets holding flowers up Obama is the peace president the guy crosses over to North Korea right making a peace gesture and stuff like this and people frown upon it people are insane so my name oh let's pronounce this has the i is like the i in it i okay has the it has it has he okay yeah. ki like in the word kite kai okay hezi kai hezi kai and the uh, R at the end, Hezekiah, Hezekiah, yeah, Mr. Hezekiah, Japanese, Japanese, yes, Mr. Hezekiah. <laughs> I know this because I always try to pronounce the names for the Studio Ghibli stuff and all the other different animations. I try to, you know, go online and who directed this, who made this, and then look to see what else they made. It might be uh, it's originally from a Wu Tang clan song. Is it? Mr. Hezekiah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> awesome, awesome. All this bad information. I need to get drunk. Martin, you're off in what, 10 minutes now? Five minutes? <laughs> Funny as it sounds, not really elite. As they get a lot of foster kids, do they? They accept anyone with higher brain functions technically with an artificial heart it's okay <laughs> funny neuropilot yes yes he's live void void how are you doing we're live for another like 10 minutes or so thanks for popping by hey saint just germany how are you doing name of a king mr hezekiah now i know mr i gotta remember that for next stream Hezekiah doing good thank you awesome Germany awesome fun we've had a nice little uh, nice little stream got intense and chill at the same time sometimes right and again gang my computer should be done processing I'm gonna watch the video make sure it's okay if I don't have to reprocess it there might be a video up a comic book packing video up uh, in a couple hours A short one a short one when is our stream tomorrow tomorrow's a tenant no on Sunday our next stream is on Sunday at 10 a.m. I believe on Sunday at 10 a.m. let's check it out Sunday at 10 a.m. Mm. Sunday at 10 a.m. We talk comic books video game stream when i don't know sir uh, i gotta do i most likely oh, i can't say most likely the earliest it would be would be in the fall the earliest it would be would be in the fall i gotta get some things rolling and uh, uh towards the end of august i gotta get set some stuff for a school year kicking in 
<laughs> I watch your five hour stream. It's the longest one ever. Longest one ever. <laughs> yeah. I think we've done three and a half, almost four hours before, but five hours we never did. If I include the milling for the for the plums, it would have been like seven hour stream. Maybe we do someday. I need a partner with that's this kind of jam. If you're milling it, you need another person to do it with too. Or make less less jam. A fun stream. Got a lot out of that. And then I went for a long two hour walk afterwards. It was good. Really good. Somebody in Quebec got stabbed during a Facebook live. Uh, the aggressor stole 12 beers and got arrested. Two styles for two beer. 12 beer. Where is my city going? Holy. Oh, man. That's insane. The guy just wanted beer. Oh, a stream upload. Yeah, for sure. Let's go back. It, look, man, it's going to get crazier in the Western world. We haven't. Where's the world going? Can, Canadian education system was twice as better 10 years ago than it is now. It was 10 times better. Not all the information because it wasn't, there was no internet you couldn't have access, but the core where you could get your education was two or three times better in the 90s, 80s, 80s, three or four times better than it is now. Healthcare was better in Canada 10, 20, 30 years ago. Much, much, much better. There was more of a social net. You had better pay relative to cost. The cost of living was less. So where is your city going to? The same place most Western countries are going to. Western societies are going to, which is class difference because of the centralization power monopoly powers given to corporations and elite elites that are skimming all the excess funds from our societies into their coffers and leaving people with nothing it's going to the banks it's going to the wall streets to wall street and these types of institutions that's where that's where it's going you have to turn that around right otherwise it's going to keep on getting worse Martin doesn't know about the secret unlisted after our 12 hour streams. <laughs> Show me this. <laughs> Sorry, you're not a G Show Gold account holder. <laughs> okay, guys, have a good rest of your day. Off to work. Okay, Mr. Hiyakazi. Hiyakaza. Hezekaya. Mr. Hezekaya. Thank you for popping by. Thank you for popping by. Like that uh, Chinese actor who got stabbed on stage last week. Wow. I live in San Francisco. Got robbed for $2 worth of chocolate cookies. Oh, the cops asked me three times to confirm they were green munchies. <laughs> Neuropilot. What a crazy place. Chaotic intake. I mean, I feel like that's uh, true for American schools as well. I graduated high school in 2010. I'm sure you've seen the meme videos of American parents my age having trouble doing their kids math now. Yeah, I have parents who don't can't do their kids math. It's just because they it's not the math that they were taught to some of it. Some of it is ridiculous math. Some of it I can't even do because it's just English words trying to trick people. <laughs> it's crazy. Education system is just garbage. At least you didn't go Power Ranger. Hey, there's a new. Uh, by the way, there was there was a new Power Ranger that uh, was released uh, on Wednesday. Comic book with a new Power Ranger. I bought an issue. Not that I buy Power Rangers, but I bought two issues. You know, the only thing more expensive than uh, providing proper health care, not providing proper health care. Never pilot. One hundred percent. Stay healthy. Number one reason that people go into financial difficulties same with extrapolate that scale that up to a country one of the main expenses for a country is healthcare because it changed the way they did it now for some dumb reason yeah check youtube martin <laughs> that they were not green cookies marijuana cookies ah that's what he was saying jeez louise man cops 
thanks for the stream truck peace chat see you all next time see you next time nicholas thanks for popping by yeah thanks for the stream my pleasure gang we're gonna we're gonna call the stream it's been a couple of hours so i'm gonna go check the video i gotta see if i can download it upload it i mean about time for some green munchies happy early 420 peace guys peace padre peace i've just checked out i see my pin being poor nice nice see you all later on uh on the after hour secret stream <laughs> password is mermaid <laughs> okay gang thanks for being here great conversation we had a good time man and i'll see you guys uh in a couple of days uh on the stream if you can make it um for the comic book stream fun 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 hope you guys have a fantastic weekend bye for now